drop a super thanks and hit that gong. Welcome to the channel. My name is K to the S T R A N G E. Joined once again by Andrew to the V A B L E R S T P. S T P is your favorite band, right? It's one of them. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I like it. What's up? Not much. Right? <laughs> We're looking at more Swamp Thing. Of today course, we are at the channel. This is a sober night, by the way, gang. This isn't even. Uh, <laughs> this isn't even uh, whiskey induced. It should be, but. Um, Andrew likes to drink responsibly on uh, weeknights. He, mm -hmm. uh, I guess I could have gotten all liquored up here. Yeah. I was thinking about you it. You have I no was, excuse. I was going to go to the liquor store and get some booze, but, you know, sometimes you got to dry out. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's not healthy to, you know, <laughs> healthy uh, to put all that stress on the kidneys and the liver every, every night. So. Not at our age. Uh, yeah, well, you know. Swamp Thing Green Hell. Green Hell. What do you hell. tell me about this? So, this is a three-issue run. Came out, I think, three years ago? Two or three years ago. Um, DC started doing this black label, which is like the mature label, so they can get a little, a little more racy. Like the, that's where the, the, the Batman who laughs that um, mm -hmm. shit came out through that. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's and really then, good uh, stuff. They started doing these limited runs, usually either two or three issues, and they're like magazine size, so it's bigger than just like a regular comic, as you can see. And uh, it gives you a little more to play with. I thought it'd be cool to show that off on the video and it's a really cool story too. So. This is uh this is uh, Jeff Jeff Lemire, mm -hmm. Doug uh Menke, Menk, Doug Menk, and uh David Barron on the uh, is David Barron the um see the colorist? I believe so. Let's crank it open. All right. Let's tell, tell me what you think about this. Do you All like right. this? Do you not oh, like I, this? I We've been it. do we do been doing bronze. We did a Bronze Age Swamp Thing episode. We, we did. did an episode on the movie adaptation to the comic adaptation <laughs> of, of um, what's his name, uh, Wes Craven's, Wes Craven's. Uh, Swamp Thing, and now we're doing uh, Green Hell. But where does this rank among your uh, Swamp this, Thing? This is pretty far up there. This is one I of like my favorite stories. Yeah. And okay. When you said to bring over some Swamp Thing, I was like, well, I'll bring the early stuff because we got to start you know somewhere with it. But then. We'll, we'll jump right into the deep end here with this. Let's do it. So tell me about it. Uh, with this, this is kind of a an Elseworlds. Um, if you're familiar okay. with that term from DC, well, tell them, it's tell not, the people. It's not really in the continuity of anything. It's just kind of its own. It's like little Marvel. Universe. What if? It's yeah, kind of a what if. Kind Elseworlds of thing. is the DC version of Marvel Comics. What if? So you get to just make your own sandbox and play in it however mm -hmm. you want. Yep. And then sometimes the Elseworld stuff gets so popular that it gets kind of incorporated into. The main line, doesn't it? Occasionally, yeah. Especially with Marvel. They can do, like, you know, a variant alternate universe kind of thing where it bleeds into the normal universe. Uh, but this story here, we're in the uh, the last days of humanity. Okay. Humankind is basically just living on a small island out in the middle of an ocean and trying to survive as best they can. And... What's, what's brought them to this point? I don't think we really get there. Um, just a lot of its own destruction, I think, is what the, the parliament ends up agreeing on. So humankind's just kind of fucked up the earth so much that um, Swamp Thing is an agent of the green in most of the lore. And then you have, uh, which is plant life. There's also the red, which represents animal life. And then the rot, which represents death and the afterlife. And that's and, called the parliament? Uh, each one is a parliament. Yeah, the parliament of rot, the parliament of green, the parliament of red which we have right here yeah so rock red and green and they uh, they all get to talking amongst themselves and they decide you know what we're just going to restart the earth just do a reboot we're going to wipe out humanity see what comes out of it start fresh so they decide to summon uh, an elemental to help them with the, the combined powers of all three and so they awaken a new uh, like uber swamp thing is that what's going on here mm -hmm. that's the awakening and then uh, it's uh, some pretty cool stuff from the human character too. Um, they're definitely survivalists, you know. They want to try to keep the line going. They're trying their best to. And do they keep understand propagating the, and the different parliaments? Do they understand? Mm, nope. It's all kind of a mystery to them. Uh, dark magic kind of stuff. So whenever they start to figure out that they're under attack, 
uh, one of the, the ancient elders decides to look up his old friend, John Constantine, the Hellblazer. And uh, look at that reveal. Good lord! <laughs> Jeez Louise. So that's the one with all the powers. That's the Uber Swamp thing? That's the Uber Swamp thing. Look at that. Just ribbing them in half, yeah. So that's uh, humanity's chosen uh, destroyer, basically. And so <clears throat> this is when they decide that they need to fight back. And so they go to Constantine to see what he can do if there's anything he, he knows of because they know he's a magic man and he decides to reach out to his old friend and uh, does a summoning ritual we're still in the middle of getting fucked up by yeah. the uber swamp thing here I'm that. jumping ahead a bit yeah that's crazy oh yeah this is just such an awesome swamp thing monster there's so many different ways you can interpret him We've looked at, we've had videos now where we did, like we said, Bronze Age, movie mm -hmm. version. Love this one here too. Yeah. Yes, this is great. Oof. Yeah, I, I really like the ultra violence in it. And then getting to those big monster fights again. Like a, that's what you really kind of crave from stuff like this, as you mentioned before in one of our other videos. So there's Constantine. All right. Smoking them cigarettes. Drinking. Speaking of not taking care of yourself at our age, <laughs> he's looking. Isn't he immortal? He can't die. Correct. Because <clears throat> Satan has his soul. Is that what's going on? Satan has his soul. And I believe so, yeah. He's uh, efficient enough in magic to stave him off. Doesn't let him, never yeah, lets him collect. That's yeah. the whole Hellblazer storyline. Yeah, keeps him at bay. And, f and fights evil. He's while he's doing it, yeah. yeah. Took you bloody well long enough. <laughs> Classic, was he created? Uh, was he created British. by? Um, it wasn't Alan Moore, right? It was. Um, it might have been Moore. That was the first time I saw him. I don't have a bunch of Hellblazer, believe it or not. Oh really? I got, okay. the, I got the Alan Moore Swamp Thing right next to us here, where I guess we're not going to get to in this session, but we'll get to it in another session. Oh yeah, for sure. Definitely got to cover through those. That's the, the classic run. Would this be considered Silver Age, or is this considered uh, modern? Yeah, I'd say the start of the silver, or probably mid silver. Yeah. And then here's a uh, Alec Holland coming back. Oh, this is him summoning Alec. Mm -hmm. So this is our this is our Swamp Thing. Yep. So it's gonna be Swamp Thing versus Swamp Thing. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, he looks pretty fucking ferocious himself. Look at that guy. <laughs> Look at that fucking face. Who's the artist on this? Doug Monk. Mank, monkey. Monkey. He's a bad motherfucker. Oh yeah. We covered something with him earlier, and I just we do so, I do so many fucking videos for this channel. Yeah. I can't keep <laughs> everything straight, but I did something with Doug. I just can't remember. I can't uh, remember what it is. Seems you've got. Seems you gotta save us from the grain. <laughs> Love it. Two on sale February uh, 22. Okay, so yeah, it was two years ago. Take a look at another one? Sure, yeah. Take a look at another one. Yep, I've got all three if you want to yeah. flip through. I really love this cover here, too. With the, the smoke. Is this of still Doug, yeah, Doug Mink on the covers? Mm -hmm. Both covers? Go ahead and. And keep, and keep telling us the story where, where we, uh, what happens in book two so this is uh, Alec trying to re, uh, re-normalize himself to oh we got it oh shift it over. there we go so he's, he's been dead for a while he needs to figure out how to exist on earth again uh, figure out what to do with the body again because he's just been a spirit basically for centuries at this point and then he's got these flashbacks where he's got demons of different things from his past. Got to, got to do that. Oh yeah! <laughs> Look at all this. This is awesome. <laughs> they promised me I was free. The first thing I smell is stale smoke 
and arrogance. The first thing I smell is Constantine. <laughs> <laughs> so then this is, where this is his back. perspective. Mm -hmm. I gotcha. Being ripped away from his peaceful existence in the afterlife. So they're basically catching him up on what's going on from what they think they know what's going down. Oh, this is incredible art. Yeah. There we go. Wow. <laughs> still fucking dudes up. Uber Swamp Thing still is. <laughs> he just... Stop, stop that, that now now <laughs> I, I said stop <laughs> and here's the the showdown you've been waiting for yeah hell yeah You are not to be here. You agreed to stay away. You would not take your place among the Parliament of Trees, Alec Holland. And we gave you respite. But in return, you were not to meddle, as if you were among us. I did not ask for this. I was ripped from my home, the trickster Constantine. Quiet. Always some excuse. Always some machinations. We will not hear any more. Return to your heaven, haven, now. I cannot. He bound me to that place, the last refuge of mankind. We can just move on. Yeah, yeah, he's right. So they start. I mean, this is just. I don't know what to tell you, gang, other than you gotta get this fucking book. This oh, yeah. is the, the video is not gonna do justice <laughs> how gorgeous this fucking artwork. I mean, I'm I'm legitimately blown away with how fuck all, all the swamp thing we've been looking at. We've been doing this session for two or three hours now, mm -hmm. where we've we, you know we're do, banking all these swamp thing episodes in one night. And I mean, this is as much as I love Bernie Wrightson, as right. much as um, you know, I think he's one of the best cartoonists of all time. This is fucking amazing work. Yeah, like I can't said, stress this is, enough. This is some of my favorite Swamp Thing. I really wanted to show it off to you. Wow. I was happy you hadn't seen it before. It's cool seeing an initial reaction here from you. Wow. So the green tries to shoo him away, and he mm -hmm. says, I can't leave. And yeah, and they said, well, you, everything that you just had, all your peace is going to be taken from you. And he can't help it. He's got to fight for humanity. <laughs> RKO out of nowhere. Jeez. Now he now now Uber Swamp thing gets a gets a taste of his own medicine. Gets mm -hmm. ripped in half by uh, <laughs> Alec here. Not fucking around anymore. Oh, is that a stomping on? Is that a head stomp? Is that a Seth Rollins head stomp? Definitely got some eyeballs flying. Now they're freaked out by him. <laughs> <laughs> of course, they, like always. Yeah. As soon as Swamp Thing puts his neck out to fucking help people, they're like, "What the fuck are you? Get the fuck out of here! Oh my god!" And I love it. Which is the yeah. classic Frankenstein. Oh, which yeah. is What this is, you know, all, you know, based on. This yeah. Is, oh uh, yeah. Always connecting with the innocence of children because he he's innocent at heart too. Right. He doesn't ask for any of this. Doesn't mean to be the way he is. The green's not done yet, buddy. Jeez. I got the rot and the red and the green all still. I was gonna say the rot and the red haven't uh, haven't had much to say here for a minute. <laughs> what does he say here? That's insane, Don. Just get away from it. We don't want you or your girl to get hurt. I I will not harm any of you. I only need to find Constantine, and I will leave you all in peace. You have my word. Little girl's worried about her dad. Turns around and. No. Oh. 
<laughs> oh boy. Cool little splash page there. Jeez. That's awesome. Let me get back to Constantine. Doing his shit. Yep. Who's this? Uh, Dead Man. Oh, that is a Dead Man, isn't it? Mm hmm. Got to seek some counsel. This has gone beyond his knowledge and his control. So, jeez, this art is just breathtaking. This is blowing me away. This is like, um, this is like uh, shades of um, Richard Corbin, just so painterly and detailed. So much noodling on every. I mean, look at the. Um, just look at the veins in his in his neck in this in this in this little panel. So much detail in that. It's like a like a cleaner Simon Bisley or like just real paint one of the one of the painterly guys. God damn! Look at that. <laughs> That's giving me um, shades of Teixeira. Yeah. Even. That the scratchy scratchiness of a Teixeira. That fucking the way the light is bouncing off the sun, it's <laughs> actually making it look like the sun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's really kind of cool. Isn't that crazy looking? Yeah. Wow. So you're familiar with Animal Man? Mm -hmm. This is now Animal Woman that they're introducing here in the in the third act. All right. And that's that was Dead Man's big uh, idea mm -hmm. was to go get Animal Woman mm -hmm. to help fight. Got to find a, a servant of the Red from before, try to help him out. Okay. Last issue. Yeah. Let's get into it. All right. We got another uh, creator here too. Sean Moles is joining the Sean the Moore. cover. Okay. Let's see what he does for us. Oh, he's a co-artist with. Monkey. All right. So we've talked before in these. Um, I think we even talked. We talked about it in the to share the final issue of to share his um, saber tooth run. Mm -hmm. um, that oftentimes an artist will get behind um, and will uh, get behind schedule, and they'll have to bring in a secondary artist to work with them. And in that to share a uh, saber tooth episode, I kind of called. I bet there's going to be a lot of um, silhouette in this issue because mm -hmm. that's you know that's when you're rushed, you do a lot of silhouette work. Um, I'm wondering if we're about to run into a bunch of silhouette work here in the Swamp Thing Green Hell issue three. Yeah. They spent so much time noodling issue two, <laughs> they had to call in a, a second artist to, to help yeah. work here. True so my, and, my, and, my, and my guess is it the, just the says... second panel kind of already. Yeah, yeah we already <laughs> start having that uh, going on here. And my guess is, and we've talked, uh, we didn't talk about it in the beginning of this episode. Mm -hmm. In the last episode, I talked about how, uh, because Teixeira was actually on pencils. Oh, on yeah, for that, the West Craven uh, adaptation. The West Craven Swamp Thing adaptation. And uh, and I talked about how the division of the way the division of labor usually works in comic books is that the penciler is the one that has to lay down all the perspective grids and have to, has to really build the structure um, of the compositions. And so my guess would be that Sean was brought it brought in to do the perspective and the compositions so that Doug could just noodle noodle over it and do his do his stuff. That would be my guess. Yeah. And I get and I bet they're going to use a lot of silhouettes. So let's see right. let's see where we. Um, where we get here, so that they get, so that they can hit their, uh, they, get so this out hit their deadline time. and get yeah. this out on time. Jeez, I mean, I just can't stress enough how great this art is, gang. It's just digitally is not going to do it justice. You gotta if 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 you're loving this, and I don't know why you wouldn't be loving this. Right, <laughs> uh, you gotta go out and get a copy of this. Yeah. this if you're is, a Swamp Thing fan at all, you gotta yeah. check this out, man. So this is uh, meeting up with Animal Woman, figuring out what she's been up to. <laughs> and who are these folks? Uh, that's Animal Man and Animal Woman. So, okay, yeah. Uh, what happened? Oh, to is, that, that, is that like a flashback? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What happened to that bright-eyed little kid who couldn't wait to play superhero with her dad? And look, we're playing Mr. Hero. Got my father. He lost his son. He lost his life. And here we are. In the end, none of it mattered. So she's kind of go dark. Mad yeah. at humanity for taking her dad. Taking away. her dad away. Yep. Yeah, we can do a little more silhouette here with the, the Constantine there. 
Well, yeah, you're just gonna start getting more. And and if you notice the um, the backgrounds are getting mm. muddier. Mm -hmm. It's just you know there's I don't think there's a single actual perspective background on on this entire uh, two pages. Mm -mm. I don't know if there's been one in the book so far yeah. yet at all. So we're really just, yeah, we're just laying down colors, really. All this new, all this, this is all just the, the color, you know, the, the figure was drawn into this panel mm -hmm. and then pretty much just the colors was, to, and there's, and you see that there's like an, a silhouette of the um, vines and things, mm -hmm. but then the, the fucking colors just had to kind of go to work <laughs> in Photoshop <laughs> and add all this in, add all this in. As you can see, it's basically just figure work. Yeah. We're just, we're just racing through our figure work here and we're not really worrying much about um, yeah. having real defined backgrounds which is another hallmark of a team that's being rushed yeah you if you're gonna leave if you're gonna leave out anything you leave out the backgrounds you do you do as much silhouetting as you can and you leave out the backgrounds and you called out last issue all the veins and stuff like that that you saw now you get nothing on so all just silhouetted yeah I love the oh yeah like decaying decrepit look in there too But still looks cool. Like it's still a beautiful piece too. That's what I'm saying. Like you that. keep because the, the figure work is the centerpiece yeah. of, of any yeah. comic book. But see, we're not even bothering the backgrounds here. We don't even know where they're. They're just sort of vaguely in the <laughs> swamp, right? Right. Black as much black as you just put mm -hmm. as much black into it as you fucking can. <laughs> So this has been a vision of his daughter. It really does remind me of Teixeira. Real scratchy, mm -hmm. and thick, bold line work. Yeah, Oops. yeah, you really get the definition of like her cheeks and everything there yeah. too with the smile. Yeah, yeah it was visions of his daughter that got him to wake up. Look how emaciated he is. Yeah. That's so cool. He's all fucked up. So rallying with the rest of the townspeople here. This is a great line if you want to read through that. <clears throat> Stay behind me. No offense, but you look like you can barely stand. I am not dead yet. And if I am to die, let it be a worthy death. And that's fucking yeah, awesome. Smacks the head off and rips the head off of a demon. Yeah, thing. love it. <laughs> Get the rotten fuckers. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Humanity, they're uh, they're getting their hope spot here. Mm -hmm. They're having their comeback. Hot tag, hot tag to humanity. We got Triple H sledgehammer coming yep. in. <laughs> they're bringing in Triple H's fucking sledgehammer. I always thought that was the stupidest weapon because you would never you, know, you just you just take a sledgehammer and you hit someone with it and they die. Yeah. So instead, <laughs> obviously you can't do that. Yeah. So he just holds it by the head yeah. and then cups it with his hand. Cups it with his hand and then hits him with his hand. It's like. You probably hurt your hand more than you hurt the fucking guy you just hit. <laughs> anyway. Great so. fucking monster work here. Oh, yeah. Now we get Animal Woman actually helping out with the, the beast life coming in, helping oh, with the rot. Hell yeah. And then Woo, she's going all that. feral on us. Yeah, look at that. Summoning all the beasts. Yeah, buddy. Constantine's still over here doing spells. Yep. That man's still hanging out. I didn't expect him to be still chilling, but I guess he's got to oversee the, <laughs> the work here. I love her feral look. It's so cool. Yeah, she's awesome. Okay. This fucking thing is cool, too. So what we've been talking about all night with all these uh, Swamp Thing episodes is just yeah. you, you get it's very similar to Hellboy where you just get monster versus monsters and it's just everybody's a monster and everything's fucking awesome and just there ain't cooler comics than monster comics man oh yeah dude coming in with a golf iron thinking he's gonna do something <laughs> The denizens of hell are trying to yeah. claim Constantine's Constantine, soul. Constantine, you're dying at last. 
Perceptive as always, you punch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, so. Listen up, because I'm about to kick the bucket. Do you want my soul or not? Do you take me for a fool? I have been duped by you once, never again. By my count, it was more than once, fucker, but who's counting? No more tricks. Simple deal. You in or you out. No time to piss around. <laughs> Make one last deal with the devil. And he accepts, of course, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. And we're back to fucking this awesome... Monster yeah. fighting with animal woman and mm -hmm. swamp thing and all the giant wombat demons. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and starting to get pulled under. Look at all of them taking them down. Yeah, a bargain is struck. And you see the power of hell coming up to hell. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cool? The green hell, buddy. So is that our swamp thing that's been infused with the power of hell? Yep. Jeez Louise, look at that gang. I can't make the shine on the fucking <laughs> mouth go away because that's just the way the light is hitting it. It's just, this is all so painterly. Like the, the color work on here is breathtaking. That's what I'm saying. You got to see this in person. Like this is, this is crazy. Some of the best comic book art I've ever seen. I think I remember telling you a while back that I was I hadn't been I hadn't looked at a new new comics shelf in a long time. Mm -hmm. We went to the comic shop and I was in awe that a lot of comics look like this right now. Yeah, it's, it's so kind people of... people complain about modern comics sucking and they do for a, a lot of modern comics suck, but the good ones are great. The good ones are maybe some of the best looking comics that have ever been made. I mean, oh, yeah. this stuff this and you is, don't want to sleep on them. like this yeah, is so cool. This I'm, is I'm great. It's only two years old. Yeah. Go back and tell the parliaments that I am angry. I am angry and I am coming for them next. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They pissed him off. Yep. And he's got the power of hell. So. <laughs> yeah. Dead man looking over Constantine as he's taking his last breaths. Shit, there he is. Hell, Hellboy <laughs> fucking... Hellboy Swamp Thing. So here he is with the parliaments. Yep. What does he say? It is I who have overreached, old ones. You took me from my wife, from my daughter. And then animal woman fell in the, the red. He gave his life to you, and you took my father from me. Oh, man, that's awesome. You have been down here so long, you've forgotten what it means to live. You were right about one thing. The end is near, but not the end of mankind. Oh, the end of your tyranny, as he rips apart the trees. Oh, boy. The she end of your manipulation and your judgment. She She's taken on the Parliament of the Red. Shit. That's the it. Parliaments are over. <laughs> and he's now Swamp Thing's <laughs> got the throne. Does that, mean he, 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 does that mean he controls all the elemental powers now? I think so. Holy shit. What does he? What does he say? Oh. And it's the the rot. We'll behave. Rot is nothing with the life we give them. Then, it is done. <laughs> I love it. And our main hero still has his daughter, so yeah. he made it through good. Still has this Triple H sledgehammer. Yeah. Nice little reunion there. Yeah. Now swamp thing. And then, yeah. I have walked among the stars. I have loved, and I have been loved. And now, after everything, after years of struggle, years of being a puppet, it may truly be the end. Someone off page says Alec. He's reunited with Abby and Teffy, his wife and daughter. It's over now. We are finally free. And they all get to embrace. What a ride. What a trip. Hell of a fucking 
Oh, what is it called? Green Hell? Green Hell, yep. Love it. That's amazing. Let us know what you think of uh, Swamp Thing Green Hell down in the comments, gang. And we're going to give shouts to our uh, patrons here. Thanks for being patient with us while we uh, while we read through uh, the comic. You can become a patron yourself for only $3 a month. Link below in the description. You gain access to 20 years of comics, novels, and feature films from yours truly, The Twisted Mind of Kevin Strange. You get that Space Worms, Count Keefula, a.k.a. Dracula and Strangeville. My brand new comic, 28-page one-shot, just came out last month. Uh, Death to Strangeville, Wizard of Ganj, Too Many Dabs, a host of other comics, novels, and feature films. And you get shouted out every episode. Let's do it. Savage Splendor. The Dark Lord Carrion. Triple Six Yoshi. Alien on LSD. Joseph Stark. Loud Pack Productions. Dave Baxter. Jason German. Mutant Minds. Joshua Wise. Jeremy Maddox. Nirvana. Uh, Andrew Varble to the uh, STP whatever. Darren Oni. And uh, our newest patron, uh, Raz. Thank you so much for being patrons. And uh, if you want to, if you want to, you, your name up in the lights here, and uh, you want to be a uh, get your name shouted out, then uh, become a, consider becoming a patron today. Link in the description. And if you have copies of Swamp Thing Green Hell, because these are all um, Andrew's issues, if you want to send me copies of Swamp Thing Green Hell, because I would love to have this book in my collection, you can send them to Kevin Strange, P.O. Box number five, Cottage Hills, Illinois six. 2018. If you are a comics creator um, and you aspire to make comics as uh, crazy cool as uh, Swamp Thing Green Hell, you can send them to the P.O. Box just like uh, Paul Porkjohn did with his uh, mini comic uh, Junked here. Let's uh, take a look at Junked. It says, uh, Look at you, you beautiful bastard, reading this Ashcan edition of Junked. I can assure you now. That this amazing new underground alt comic is better than any of the other literature you've have, you got lying around your house. The brilliant, strong, and impressive men over at the junkyard have crafted this mighty tome out of muscle and blood as a well-deserved distraction from your difficult and unrelenting life. You owe it to the men of junk to take all your other comics outside and burn them. The junk crew are Dylan Hetty, Daniel Hughes, Paul Courtjohn, and Leslie Winlock. This issue was edited together by Dan, and even though he realized before finalizing it that he had forgotten to include a table of contents, he did not care enough to add one. Any queries and complaints can be sent to us on the internet. You'll figure out how to find us and always remember, if you're not reading junked, then you're not reading junked. And uh, we are reading junked right yeah, now. This I, is a, I'm definitely going to flip through this when we get done. Yeah, this is a great little uh, mini comic here by uh, the crew over at Junked. And uh, they sent this our way to That's check so cool. out on the on the uh, on the channel, and we have done so. And if you want your uh, I love that fucking page right there. Uh, if you want your comics displayed on uh, the channel, then uh, feel free to send them to uh, PO Box. Let's let's bring that back up on the screen one more time. Uh, Kevin Strange, PO Box number five, Cottage Hills, Illinois six two zero one eight. Final thoughts on our little uh, our little string of uh, Swamp Thing shows here, Andrew. You, uh, you brought over, you, you did your um, your uh, show and tell. Yep. It was a show and tell day for Andrew here mm -hmm. at the channel. He showed us, uh, so we, went, we went from Bronze Age to absolute as modern as Swamp Thing gets. Final thoughts on uh, Swamp Thing, Andrew? Uh, he's still one of my favorites of all time. Um, no matter what era, like, there's always some cool stuff to check out. Um, you really can't go wrong. Uh, if you find Swamp Thing out there anywhere, pick it up. Uh, you're gonna like it and Green Hell is one of my favorite stories man I really love it I'm glad I got to share it with you oh hell yeah that was a treat stay strange gang